More than 100 Emory Healthcare employees are going to lose their jobs in part because of the Affordable Health Care Act. An upset Channel 2 Action News viewer tipped us to the story, and Channel 2's Erica Byfield did some checking and found out their last day on the job will be in mid November. Signs all around the Emory Healthcare campus say all of us are in this together. But after a layoff letter went out within the last week to 101 Emory employees, It'd be fair to say not everyone would agree. I don't like people losing their jobs. In a way, I just wish they'd go away with it. I'm sad to hear they're losing it, but I feel it's for a good reason. The letter starts out by saying Emory Healthcare is restructuring. It goes on to say as a result, leaders decided to close a neuropsychiatry unit and consolidate two psychiatry units. A furious employee sent Channel 2 Action News another letter. It reads, the saddest part is when, during the announcement, we were told that our job loss is due to the new affordable health care plan. An Emory spokesperson confirmed. In part, the new health care law President Obama pushed for played a role in the layoffs. The spokesperson also said the economy was a factor. I'm surprised to hear it. Yeah, I, I, I wish that wasn't one of the effects of the, the health care plan. I think it's bad that it's affordable health care and people are losing their jobs. We stopped by both facilities that will lose employees. One is the Wesley Woods Geriatric Hospital. The other is the Center for Rehabilitation Medicine at Emory University. We've learned that the employees were told that they should expect the layoffs to be permanent, but there is a chance they could find other jobs within the Emory health care system. It's sad. It really is. A lot of people are going to lose their homes and cars and everything they work all their life for. Emory Healthcare's Human Resources Officer closed out that letter to employees by telling them that the layoffs are regrettable but necessary. They're effective November 15th. In DeKalb County, Erica Byfield, Channel 2 Action News.